Welcome to a new Thrive Team Builder tutorial. This time we are taking a look at the About the Author element. This element allows you to display information about the authors of the posts or pages of your website on the theme templates you are editing. So a very important feature of this element or the main trait lies in its dynamic behavior. This means that the information that it contains, such as the name, the image and the about information, will be different depending on the author of that post or page. So in order to edit a template, I'm going to head over to my Thrive Team Builder from here. I'm just going to hover over Thrive Dashboard and select Thrive Team Builder. Alright, now let's head over to the template section and select the one that we will be working on. Let's take the default post from here. Alright, so when you are editing a page or a post template, it might happen that the element is already added to it by default. So first scroll down on the template, look around and check if the about the author element is already added to it. And as you can see here, mine already has an about the author element. I can see that if I hover over it, but I'm just going to go ahead and remove it in order to show you how to add it back to your template. So here open the right sidebar list of elements. The about the author element should be right under the theme elements section. And it's the first one from here. All right, now let's pick a design for it or a template. This can be changed at a later stage. So don't worry too much if there's some kind of minor detail that you would like to have changed because you will be able to edit the design of the chosen template. Now let's go ahead and start using the left sidebar options to further customize it. This first section allows you to go back into the template library and pick a different one if you want. Of course, if you want to change the template entirely and choose a completely different design, then it's better if you do that at the beginning of the customization and not at the end because all the previously made changes will be lost. So if you've done some minor tweaks to the already existing template, if you decide to change it with a new one at a later stage, then those changes will be lost. Then from here, you can access the WordPress user settings. So here's where you can type in the about the author text. You can also change the name, upload an image. Here in the biographical info is where you can type in the text that will be displayed in the about section. Then you can also add your Thrive social URL links. So if you feel there are some changes that you want to make, just click on that hyperlink text of the main options and it will take you here to the user settings. Now let's go back to the main options of the element. Next, with this button, you can start editing various items that make up the entire element. So if I click it, you can see that now I have access to individually editing various items of my entire about the author element. So I can edit this content box from here if I want, then the image, the social links that appear right here. I can also format the text, but of course the text that's typed right here cannot be changed from this editor as this is something that has been set up in the WordPress user settings just as I've previously showed you. But you can still change the formatting font and overall aspect just like you would do with any other text element. As soon as you click it, the corresponding options will appear here in the left sidebar. Then for example, you can also change the style of the image. And now let's swipe over to this content box from here and add a pattern to it, for example. Let's also change the color. All right. So as you can see, you can just play around with the various options available in the left sidebar editor, depending on the element that you are customizing or selecting here in the breadcrumbs. Now, let's say, for example, that I've removed by mistake the author name from here. Let me just delete it. Then what you can do, you can just add it back with the help of the author name element from the right sidebar. And as you can see, you didn't have to type in manually the name of the author as the system has automatically recognized the author of the post. So this is a dynamic text. You can see right here, if I open this dynamic text option, it's set by default to use the post as the source and to automatically display the author name. You can do the same with a simple text element. So you don't need to necessarily use the author name one. If I'm just going to drag and drop once more, a new element to my template and use the dynamic option from here. It should automatically display the name of the author. All right. 
Now to go back to the main options, you can just click here on done and here you can still go ahead and use the rest of the more general options. Now if you want to see how the template would look like on a different post from your website, you can do that if you use the content drop down and just pick a different post from your website. So what this drop down list does is that it allows you to preview the template on all the posts to which this template can be applied. And when you are doing that, you can also see how the about the author element information has changed based on the author of that post. All right, now when you are done making all the necessary changes, don't forget to save your work you've done so far on your template. Now this is how easily you can use the about the author element to dynamically display the author information on your template. Don't hesitate to check out other tutorials of this type available in our knowledge base and on our YouTube channel if you want to get more familiar with Writing Builder.